Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Civ 4. The never-ending stop to try and destroy Rome. Once again, we're the blue guys here. You can see the blue here. Um, yeah. We're most of the areas from, like, here up, except for Rome there, and then, like, these kind of gray ones, which are German. These are the Mongols. There's still a war going on here, I believe, between the Indians, Japanese, and... Incans, but I have not paid much attention to that to say the least. Oh wait, no, the war is done. Now it's just the Indians and the Mongols, which, you know what, the Mongols, fuck them. They attacked us once upon a time. So let's see, did we... Okay, we're gonna bomb Rome again. Oh, I like when they cause collateral damage like that and damage a bunch of the other troops. I look at the numbers on the left, trying to get them down as low as possible. We can't do any more of those? Did I... Alright. Oh man, crossing the river, that's bad. Alright, well, no, no. One, two, three, you guys come over here. These guys need to heal. We'll give you, um, heal, heal defense. Heal defense. Alright, just heal. Heal, heal, heal! Apparently we can't do any more bombing from there. We've damaged them all we can. That's a little frustrating to be honest, but... Alright, good infantry units! Come down here. Destroy, keep them hemmed in. I wonder if to... Uh, if we went after the Germans, we'd have to make sure we um, upgraded our guys on the border. The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. All right, we can build the United Nations, which has some cool features. Hollywood, yeah, movies, and broadcast towers. So next, let's build... We'll build biology. That way our guys can make more food um, from farms. Built a bomber. I want another tank. And another tank. Because we are going to enter this... Uh, end this damn war one way or the other. Somebody's culture expanded. Oh, Beaver Town. Beaver Town's a popular place. All kinds of beaver. These poor people in Rome, if only their leaders had been smarter, most of them would have survived. They should have just surrendered. I would have accepted their surrender. They could become sextopians like the rest of us. Be sexy all the time. Except for on sex holidays. You fucking kidding me? I know the odds weren't in our favor, but still. I shouldn't even go after that, but I'm just pissed. There we go. Good job, dude. Murder everybody in this town if we take it. Um, you, sir. Yeah, dropped him. What do they got left? Okay, they got an infantry guy and a bunch of catapults. You gotta cross the river, but go for it. Nice. Take out that catapult, son. We've finally broken through their defenses. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have had him attack! He took like a catapult thing to the face! That's one tough son of a bitch. So all they have left are two catapults and some ships. And it'll, obviously they might build something on this turn, but... How's the rest of the Empire doing? I neglected most of that the last couple of times because I'm just like, Almost done! I almost defeated these 
dweebs. It so did not work. Alright, bombers, you just wait. Next time you can go bomb some more. Uh, you guys can wait too. You can wait. I can't wait to take out Rome. Congratulations, you trained your first armor unit in Sextopolis. Great. They're the strongest offensive unit. Oh, I didn't really care about that. Let's build Hollywood. No, let's build the United... United Nations in our capital. We build a laboratory in Sousa. So we will give him the advantage in city attack. He'll probably get there. By the time he gets there, the war is probably going to actually be over. Bam! Alright. Rome's defense is down. Send in the bombers for the millionth time. Nobody survives. Okay, that's all the more we can do. You, sir, you get city defense for your bonus from winning. So they have a catapult left and a settler. You, sir, you can have a bonus to city defense. End it. Wait across the river and take the city. <laughs> oh my word. Finally, finally, after a billion YouTube episodes in 500,000 years, we have finished off the Romans, I believe. Yep, you don't see him down there anymore. Julius Caesar, zero. We did it. We took out for Rome. They had the Great Lighthouse and Chichen Itza. I think that's a chicken place. <laughs> oh God, this war took forever. Never again. Never forget the war that never ended. Oh, now Ravina can finally grow because they have access to this all. They're going to probably be pretty happy about that. They got all these happy resources. The war is over. We do have to subjugate Rome proper. We'll tell the workers here to just do whatever the hell they want. You sir, come into Rome. In fact, we're gonna bring all the troops into Rome. At least all the ones we can. Destroyer, you just go out here and, I don't know, go on sentry duty. I'll probably forget about you. I always forget about naval units. They just sit there and do nothing. Oh, we're getting all these tanks and stuff built. I would love to go after the Germans. I don't know. That might be stupid, though. You could put them on sex for it. Okay, we're going to upgrade guys there. Military units. Man, I would love to. If we get enough troops, maybe we'll go after Germany. I'm not in a rush for that, to say the least, but... We'd have to rebuild our army anyway. We're going to move the Air Force. I think we'll move it to the Sexfort just in case. Move it incrementally at the moment. We've all been re uh, reassigned. This walks, uh, we're going to have Wall Street in Sexfort. That's pretty cool. And I'm assuming we're going to trade sexy stocks. Then. Oh, we're going to build Hollywood. So we can make Hollywood movies. Ooh, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's Trey Magnifique. That means it's um, three Magnifiques. <laughs> uh, so he's gonna be like, no, that's not what it means. Oh. You get a free broadcast tower in every city, which, if I remember correctly, broadcast towers create free culture. Or, I mean, not free culture. It increases your in, uh, culture rate and makes people happier. So I get a free broadcast tower in every city because we built the Eiffel Tower. Built a factory there. You guys have been upgraded troop-wise. Fortify. You guys all go into Rome. 
Once the realm has been subjugated, we will figure out how we're going to rede um, redeploy the troops. Our empire is the biggest. Look at our points. More points than anyone. That's point terrific. Hey, Bismarck. I'd like to propose a trade thing. Can we have biology? We demand you give it to us in tribute. <laughs> He's like, sure, kick a civilization was down. Accept your troops. Good. You it is not the strongest of the species that survive, but the one most responsive to change. I think it's funny. I'm just like, give it to me. Or I'm going to kick you in the face, dickweed. He's like, okay, you can have it. I'm like, that's right. I can have it. Let's see. Should I build medicine? Refrigeration? I don't mind building the thing for nuclear weapons. That might be a bad idea, too, though. Now, we're going to go up towards that and do, like, computers and the internet. People love internet pawns. That's what our sex toplins need. There's so many troops there that need to heal. <laughs> That's all in Rome right there. Oh, we got a tank. It's too late to do anything with it. I might just start a war with the Germans. Alright, planes, you just stay there and do your planey planey mix things. We'll redeploy you, butt weeds. Maybe we should have our own manifest destiny. Alright, so why don't we have you build a tank as well? Oops, not a. Uh, I'll go with a marine, why not? Have you build a tank? For some reason, I was looking at two things at once. I thought it said Jewish Marine. It's like, okay, that's, that's cool. Let's have you go here. We're going to start moving stuff on the border. Once upon a time, they did that to us. We will never forget. Unless we do forget. Upgrade some of those guys. Well, at least one of those guys to an infantry unit. Um, probably want to upgrade some of these guys here, too. Especially if they're going to um, be our, uh, what would you say, if they're going to be our air base there. You definitely don't want the planes to all get hit. Alright, air units, you just stay there. Rome, we need to figure out who's staying and who's going. Actually, I'm going to leave. No. Oh. Ah. I think I'll leave behind uh, two or three. I'm going to leave some machine gunners behind. And then we're going to move this guy right up here. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot. We got an open border policy with the with Germany. I could just been going through their territory. Live and learn. All right, we'll redeploy you, sir, to Wall Street, so we can drop executives from banking companies onto people. Destroy the economy, we'll drop you on the Germans. How you like that, butt faces? Tank, let's build another tank. Let's build a workboat. Somebody loves us. We're gonna be build an Islamic temple there, and a library there. You stay there, sir. Man. Yeah, I think we're going to go to war. I think we'll wait a couple turns. You will fortify yourself against sin. Okay, we'll make this guy a machine gunner. Let's have that guy fortify. Alright, a tank. Tank you very much. You there. All along the border. With another tank. We will give you a withdrawal chance. And we will give you a collateral damage chance. And 
Can you guys just uh, heal for a moment or two? I want a Marine. I want a hardcore Marine. Uh, for the game, not for myself. I'm not like, ooh, I want a Marine, boss. <laughs> Alright, let's build a grocer here so people have delicious foods. And I'm just going to let this workboat go on automatic because I'm so lazy about workboats. I think we have a fishing spot up there. Oh, we have a clam spot. I didn't even notice. Alright, this is the last turn of peace before we return to war. We were such a peaceful nation once upon a time. We just wanted to study literature about sex and draw pictures about sex and make movies and video games about sex. And then the wars came and then we just wanted war. Um, you saw just fortify? We trained a tank. Let's build another tank. I am going to, we'll give him a first strike chance. We're going to put him in Sexfert just to protect the um, air units. So wait, was that the end of this turn? Oh wait, nope, so this is the beginning of it. Let's talk to the Germans. Germans, hey, we'd like to uh, talk to you. Um, wait, what? Um... How do I declare war on you? Do I have to cancel my trade deals with you first? Oh wait, I'm gonna declare war on you. Can I? Can I? Um. What are the current deals we have? Yeah, we're gonna cancel open borders. He's like, well, I never. Maybe you should sometime. <laughs> and now, sir, I'm gonna declare war on. Wait. Um, oh fuck it. I'll just move the troops in. This will do it. Wars come to you! Wait, why haven't you guys all gone? I should have upgraded my artillery before I started the war. <laughs> just got a catapult. That was a good job on my part. Alright, bombers. Let's hit Munich as hard as we can. Hopefully we can hit them hard so they can't, their their uh, units won't have a hell of a lot of power to retaliate with. I do want to. Oh, they moved some of their units that were on the border. Let's see if we can damage these guys here that are defending the mine. Damage these horses that are out here, this cavalry unit. Did we some? I think so, yeah. We're gonna try and strafe it again. Good, good, good. And we'll try and strafe these infantry units again. Excellent. So, let's move in. Aha! You, sir. Man, it's big help with the air power. No, I could attack again, but we're going to wait. We're just going to get everybody set up for attacking. Um, where's that guy? And, ooh, I didn't even realize there were more bombers that had yet to go. That's great. We'll just damage Munich some more. We've become such a warlike people. We deserve to be the best. Or to have everything, because we are the best. I like how they have their Napoleonic cannons. They're going to take out our Sherman-esque tanks. Good luck with that. Oh, no, I don't like that. They have real artillery pieces. We don't even have any of those. Somebody stole... They kidnapped our uh, workers. 
Oh man, I can't believe that succeeded there. Come on, we should be able to take out their catapult with their machine gun, guys. And hopefully their cannons with their machine gun, guys. Well done, says. Sucks we already lost a tank. Suck on that! I'm really glad now that I have the air units and we damaged Munich so much in the, the uh, units that were inside of it. Man, they've got a lot. Uh, I guess they've been stacking up troops for a while. I don't want to lose those tanks. At least I have them, or had them. <laughs> Oh man, their cavalry is dominating our tanks. Come on, take those guys down. Screw you, cavalry. Wow, <laughs> they've hit back a lot harder than I expected. Holy crap, they've got a ton of troops. Well. I did a great job scouting out this war ahead of time. Alright, let's build a courthouse here. And next time... Next time we will do our war against the Germans. People are happy though. I guess they're like, yeah, we want to fight the crowds. And the Germans are giving us a hard time. Giving us a run for our money to say the least. I think we might be able to take the city on the next, uh, in the next episode, though. Hopefully we will. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you all have a good day.